Bye bye our RV. We are leaving it here in winter in Vermont for three months while we had slightly warmer climates, but still with cold winters. This morning we packed our suitcases in our truck and we packed up and uh, everything in the RV. We flushed all, all the lines, essentially winterized it. And we put this <laughs> cover on and it took a little bit of work, but it wasn't too bad. And now we are ready to hit the road. We are leaving our RV for three months and our first stop is New York at our friend's place. Here we are hanging out with them for a week and celebrating Thanksgiving together. Another thing that I'm trying to do while I'm here in New York is to read this new Net Zero uh, book about uh, how to design and build Net Zero houses because that is what we want to do and over the winter I want to make progress on the design of our house. And the reason I want to finish this before we go, because I don't want to carry around this big heavy book with us for the next three months. We have arrived at New York train station using the Amtrak train, and now we'll hop on a yellow cab to get to the JFK airport. Did you miss flying? Yeah, I kind of do. It's weird being flying again, but like, Four, Four years. <laughs> we have successfully arrived in London and it it feels a little bit weird after four and a half years, the first time. Now yeah. things are called toilets and uh, it's just an <laughs> airport. It involved a lot of walking to get out, but the passport check was uh, actually very quick for European and British Yeah, and it, 40 minutes from when the, the wheels hit the tarmac to here with our bags. Yeah about to walk through customs. And the, this is the first time uh, we used air tags and uh, that's uh, worked really well. The Apple air tags attract the luggage, yeah, that works great. We have successfully arrived at Matt's parents. And uh, some of you, I don't know if you've known this, but Matt is from UK and I'm from Latvia. And uh, this year decided uh, for the winter, we would go back to Europe and visit our families because it's been four and a half years. Over since, four years, yeah. Over four years since I've seen my family and three something years. Yeah, since four years since I've been back to England and a few years since I saw my parents, they visited us in uh, New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, back in 2019. So yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen family and a long time since we've been back here. So we'll spend a, a few days here together at Matt's parents and then I'll fly to Latvia and uh, spend there a couple of weeks and then for Christmas we'll come back here, spend Christmas with Matt's family but then New Year's we'll spend with my family. Yeah, so lots of kind of flying around but we are trying like a divide and conquer. Uh, we are trying to see as much of our family as we can in uh, in December and then in the new year we have some exciting plans as well where we intend to travel even further but for now it's nice to be here with family. Well, I've made it to Latvia. This time without Matt. The Ryanair flight was okay, nothing fancy, but the ticket was cheap, so I was all right. Now my first order of business is to renew my passport. I was born in Latvia, but for the last 15 years I've lived in the United States. This winter I'm visiting home for the holidays, and it's been the first time I'm back at home in more than four and a half years. I was about to go visit two plus years ago, but then the pandemic hit and it just didn't happen. So while I'm here, I want to show you some cool things I 
saw that I have not seen in the United States. So the first thing is probably not going to apply to any of you, but I found it cool anyways. I need to change my um, ID card and my Latvian passport. So I had to go to the government office that does those things. And uh, generally that's not a pretty pleasant experience. Usually pretty long lines. But this time, it turns out they have an app where you can get in a virtual line. So this morning I opened the app and it said it uh, showed different waiting times and different uh, branches. And I signed up or got into the virtual line and it gives me a number and tells me how many people are ahead of me and then how long is the wait, which for this particular branch is two hours. So then I started to get ready and got into the town. It takes about an hour on the bus. I arrived early and I had some lunch and I keep checking the uh, app to see how much time left. And as it gets closer, I get uh, closer to the location of the branch. Well, that was quick and easy. My documents have been submitted and I can, and I can come back in two days to receive the passport. And the same thing applies. I can stay in line using the app. It is two days later and I'm going back into town to pick up uh, the passport. And uh, I'm taking the bus. And another cool thing that I saw in Latvia is in the buses, they have phone charging. They have USB ports, which you can use to charge your phone, which is pretty awesome. It came pretty handy in today because I'm heading into town uh, later in the afternoon and I realized my phone is not 100% charged. So I was able to charge it up on my uh, way into town. Another reason I'm in town today is because tonight I'm going to the Latvian National Opera and Ballet Theatre to watch a ballet performance and it's very special because my brother is a professional ballet dancer and in tonight's play he's dancing the lead role so I'm very excited to watch my brother gave me two tickets so I'm actually also taking a high school friend of mine who also really appreciates dance I'm just getting home from the ballet performance and it was amazing I'm so proud of my little brother who was in the title role of the uh, Nijinsky's uh, ballet performance. I'm um, very glad that I got to see him dance. I've seen him before, you know, years before the last time I was back at home. So every time I come visit, I try to go see my brother at the ballet and he did a fantastic job. And by the way, you might remember from a couple years ago, he saw my brother visit us in uh, Colorado, and that was my brother Janis. And the second brother is Kristaps, who is the ballet dancer. I have spent three weeks in Latvia hanging out with my family and my friends, and now it's time to fly to the UK.
We are sitting here outside our favourite ice cream shop in Rome. We've been here now for six weeks in Rome, not, not here at the ice cream shop. We have been here a few times. We've had an amazing time here though in Rome. It has been absolutely fabulous. It is kind of mid-February right now, so we've been very much here in the winter months. But despite that, the weather has been just great. We've had days like today more often than not. It's been clear blue skies and sunny. And we've really used this time to get out and see some of what Rome has to offer. Rome, I haven't been here for about 20 years. Diana's never been here before, but regardless, we have really tried to explore the city and see as much as possible. We've seen the Borghese Gallery. This morning we've been off to, uh, to see St. Peter's Basilica. Um, we have done the Vatican Museums. We've just done a ton of stuff, the Colosseum, the Pantheon, all these things around the city and really try to explore it and understand it and, and just enjoy it. We've also ventured a little further afield. Uh, about a week ago, we went to Venice for the weekend and had a few days there. And again, that was absolutely fantastic. We have thoroughly enjoyed our time here, but now we're starting to look forward to heading back to Vermont. And uh, even though it's a little bit colder there and a little bit snowier than it is here in Rome, we are looking forward to going back and continuing with our project. So from Rome, we took a flight to UK and there we spent a few days with Matt's family. From there, we headed to London and we spent a few days there just to make sure that we don't miss our big flight back to the United States. And all went well, and then we took our flight back to the United States. We are now reunited with our truck, and we are heading back to our property. And we'll see you in the next video, where we dig our RV out of a lot of snow. <laughs>